emergency ground evacuation from the Boeing 737 can be orderly, coordinated, and quick. But it requires thorough training and periodic review of the operation of all doors, exit hatches, escape devices, and procedures. Emergency exits on the 737 include two cockpit windows, one on either side, two main entry doors on the left side, one forward, and one aft. Two service doors on the right side, one forward, one aft. And an overwing emergency exit on either side of the airplane. All of the forward door exits can be opened from the outside by pulling out on the handle and rotating it in the direction of the earth. If the cockpit door fails to open during an emergency, pulling the emergency exit handle forward will allow the top two blowout panels to be released, providing an opening for crew evacuation. The release observer's seat can be used as a step to assist egress. To open the co-pilot's window from the outside, push in the external access door and pull the release handle. Push the window in and toward the rear. The window will slide to the open position. The pilot's window, unlike the co-pilot's window, cannot be opened from the outside. If emergency escape is necessary through the cockpit window, an escape trap is found in the container above the pilot's window. There is also a strap over the co-pilot's window. To prepare for evacuation through the open cockpit windows, be sure the strap is attached to the airplane. Then deploy the strap out through the window and evacuate by the leg, head, body, leg metal. Lower yourself to the ground and assemble the passengers and crew at least 200 yards away from the airplane. Either of the two overwing exits can be opened from the outside by pushing in on this plate. Push the hatch inward and lift up so it will fall free into the airplane. The overwing exit hatch is removed from the inside by pulling the plastic cover and lifting the hatch inward. Place the hatch on the vacated seat. Or if it is not possible to place the hatch on the seat, it can be ejected out through the opening. Should be placed clear of the evacuation room. An escape strap is located in the frame at the overwing exit. Do not extend escape straps at hatch openings unless the wing is not available for evacuation. The hook at the end of the strap is used during ditching procedures. All door exits in the 737 are fitted with inflatable evacuation escape slides, completely mounted within this casing on the inside face of the door. Prior to taxi, the stewardess must never fail to remove the dirt bar from its stowed position in the retainer hooks on the compartment cover and place it in the floor bracket where it locks in the ready position for immediate emergency use. The stewardess then positions a red strap on the door across the door window, snapping it into position. This acts as a signal to the agent on arrival that the dirt bar has not yet been detached from the floor bracket and returned to the stowed position. On safe arrival at a station, the stewardess will remove the dirt bar from the floor bracket and return it to the stowed position. The bar is removed by lifting up on the locking devices and pulling the bar up. Failure to replace the dirt bar in the stowed position could result in the slide being released as the agent opens the door from the outside. However, the agent will not open the door from the outside until the warning red strap has been removed from the door window. Now, the door can be opened for normal passenger disembarking procedures. But let's close the door again and connect that dirt bar once more to the floor of brackets as the stewardess must do before taxi and takeoff. Remember, she also must snap the red strap into position at this time. 
Once again, we are prepared for emergency passenger evacuation. Operating instructions for the door are printed on this plaque. The door is unlocked by lifting and fully rotating the handle. Lift the handle and push the door out firmly until it locks in the open position. Remember, as the door opens, the escape slide will fall free into position and hang on the outside of the door frame. To inflate the slide, jerk out the red ring or loop at the top of the slide completely for proper inflation. Roll the handle behind you. The slide should inflate in approximately three seconds. If the slide should fail to inflate, it is still usable as a handheld slide. First, the tieback assembly which holds the slide folded must be separated either by the stewardess or an able-bodied passenger. Two able-bodied passengers are then assigned to proceed to the ground, lowering themselves hand over hand, using the slide as they would an escape rope. Instructed to hold the slide from the ground at a 45-degree angle for following passengers. The next three people out the exit are also assigned to assist when reaching the ground in holding the slide, helping passengers, and directing them away from the airplane. The manually inflated door-mounted escape slide you've just seen demonstrated is found attached to three door exits on the 737. Forward and aft main entry doors and at the aft service door. Only at the forward service door does the door-mounted escape slide inflate automatically. It is prepared before taxi and takeoff in the same way as the other door-mounted slide by removing the dirt bar from the retainer hook and placing it in the floor of black. Then the red strap is snapped into position across the door window. The door can be opened in the same manner as the other door. However, when the forward service door opens for emergency evacuation, the escape slide inflates automatically as it falls out of the compartment. If the automatic inflation system should fail, a manual inflation handle is attached here. Just pull out to inflate. Let's say now that the captain has determined that an emergency landing is necessary. He briefs the flight crew and the A-stewardess on the course of action to be taken, how much time there is left until touchdown, and he confirms the signals to be used. Then the A-stewardess briefs the other attendant. After that, the captain advises the passengers of the situation that there may be an emergency evacuation procedure and that the crew has been thoroughly trained to handle the situation well. He then requests the assistance and cooperation of the passengers. The A stewardess will be making announcements over the PA system during the cabin preparation. Seat belts must be buckled tight and low. Well. Stewardess demonstrates the brace for impact position. Blankets or pillows will be used to protect safety. When necessary, she explains and demonstrates the brace for impact position again. The stewardess explains the signal to be used for assuming the brace position. First, an announcement, brace for impact, which will come over the PA system from the top. Second, the illumination of the emergency exit light. And third, the command from the stewardess, brace. Any one of these signals is an indication to passengers that they should assume the brace for impact position. The stewardess then tells passengers to remain in the position until the airplane comes to a complete stop. He instructs all passengers which exits to use. In some cases, the stewardesses will want to reseat passengers to place able-bodied men near emergency exits. 
the stewardess breaks these forward at overwing exits to make more room for evacuation. Then she briefs able-bodied men on evacuation duty, having placed some of the men at emergency overwing exits. She gives them instructions on how to operate the exit hatch. She shows them how to exit onto the wing by using the leg-first method through the escape hatch. Then she directs them to walk on the wing toward the rear of the airplane, step down, and slide off the rear of the wing. She also instructs them to help passengers sliding off of the wing by extending a hand to them and shouting, Shake hands as they slide off. She also tells them to direct passengers away from the airplane. At the exit doors, the first two men who will go out and down each inflatable escape slide are instructed to stay at the bottom of the slide after evacuating to assist people following them. The stewardess assigns one able-bodied man to open the forward service door after the plane stops. She explains to him that this door's escape slide will automatically inflate when the door is open. The instruction that if the slide does not inflate automatically is to pull the manual inflation handle. Stewardess selects two men to collect loose luggage and store it in the lavatory. The stewardesses will collect all sharp articles from the passengers, such as pens, pencils, and costume jewelry. Glasses will be removed. Only if absolutely necessary may passengers keep their glasses with them in a safe place for later use. To prevent slide damage, all shoes should also be removed and stowed in the lavatory, along with the bags of sharp articles and other collected items. The stewardess reports to the captain when the cabin is ready and receives any last-minute instructions. The stewardess at the forward entry door takes her place on the forward jump seat, which is facing aft, while the two stewardesses seated on the jump seat at the aft entry door face forward. All wait for the brace for impact signal. And then it comes. Brace for impact. The stewardess shouts to the passengers, Brace! And she assumes her brace position. Passengers assume their brace position. After the airplane has landed and come to a complete stop, every crew member is quit in two. The doors are locked open and the slides inflated. Everybody out! Come this way! Stewardess assists passengers physically with one hand on the shoulder and the other in the small of the back. To help passengers evacuate quickly in a jump and sit manner rather than falling forward. As directed, the first two men to reach the bottom of the slide assist other passengers, directing them away from the airplane. Meanwhile, other passengers assigned at the emergency overwing exit open them and evacuate. As directed, the first to evacuate stands on the wing and assists passengers out, shouting, Leg first. He directs all passengers to walk toward the rear of the airplane, sit down, and slide off the rear of the wing. The second and third to evacuate stand on the ground after the wing flaps near the fuselage and assist people off the wing by extending their hands to them and shouting, Shake hands. Then they direct them at least 200 yards away from the airplane. Thorough training and coordinated teamwork can accomplish a fast, safe, and orderly emergency ground evacuation. The safety of passengers who depend on us can be better assured if we never forget the importance of preparation, alertness, and leadership.